What is up, everybody? Welcome back to 5-Minute Movie Reviews. I'm your host, Luke Smith. Guys, once again, I am very excited because I'm going to be talking about a new Netflix film that I actually managed to catch in theaters before it went to Netflix, which is rare. I don't think I've ever done that before. So I got to one-up all my friends and be a douchebag when they were like, have you seen this new Army of the Dead on Netflix? I was like, I have. In theaters. Yeah, they nobody was impressed by that. <laughs> but anyway, guys, so Army of the Dead is the new Zack Snyder zombie film. And contrary to popular belief, because I've had several people ask me about this, it is not a sequel to Dawn of the to Zack Snyder's Dawn of the Dead, which give you a little fact about that movie. It's not. It's more of an opinion. That is probably my second favorite Zack Snyder movie. Behind, uh, it's probably a toss up between Three Hundred and that movie. To be quite honest with you, uh, they're both pretty good. I like a lot of Zack Snyder's earlier work, and I got to be honest with you guys, I really liked Army of the Dead a lot. Now, obviously, this movie is absolutely freaking ridiculous. Um, I'm not going to get too into the plot. I'll give you a basic outline. It centers on a zombie apocalypse that gets stopped before it spreads too far. So it's not really an apocalypse. They manage to trap all the zombies in Las Vegas. And they, like, excommunicate Las Vegas. They evacuate everybody. They actually, <laughs> get it, they actually make it not a part of the United States anymore. So it's like its own little thing. And this billionaire who owns one of the casinos hires... Dave Batista and a bunch of other really cool bad A characters to go in and rob one of his casinos and get like $15 million out of it. Little do they know that it's full of zombies. So right out of the gate, a zombie heist film, I don't, I've never seen anything like that. And that was very intriguing just from the get go. Also, the trailers look like just a lot of fun. And with the world the way it is with COVID, I know the pandemic is kind of starting to slow down, but let's be honest. I mean, it's, it's still going to be a little bit before we're totally back to normal. And just all the depression and anger going on in the world. It was fun to watch just a <laughs> kind of campy, fun, horror action type film. It definitely leans more on the action part, although the violence is graphic and pretty horrific at times. But yeah, guys, this movie is just a blast. Now, Zack Snyder has always been a visual filmmaker, first and foremost. That has always been the strong point to all of his films. And this is no different. Not only do the special effects look good, all the explosions and the gunfights and everything looks fantastic. The zombies are also really, really cool. And the way it's set up is it's not what you would think. It is actually an army of the dead. You've got your head zombie who is like the original zombie who kicked everything off. He serves as their king. I mean, he rides an undead stallion into battle. If that's not the coolest thing you've ever heard of, then don't talk to me because <laughs> that's freaking cool. And there's also like... So there's like a zombie society, like there's stores that the zombies have. And yeah, that sounds freaking ridiculous. And it is, but it was entertaining. I had a good time. And when there's enough good stuff here to hook me in, I can overlook some of the dumb stuff. Now, obviously the script is pretty lackluster, pretty cliche. Um, basically none of the characters are very well fleshed out, except for Dave Bautista's character. I think his relationship with his daughter is actually pretty well explored, and I really liked him as a character. Not just because not just because he played Drax in the Marvel movies. It's because Dave Bautista is actually a really good actor. Um, obviously, he's very good at playing a hawking behemoth-type character, which he's done a lot of. But this movie gave him some dramatic moments with his daughter, and he actually knocked it out of the park. I was really impressed with Dave Bautista in this movie. The other actors... Yeah, they weren't too great, <laughs> um, but honestly, they didn't need to be. They served their role in the story, and I didn't mind. Now, guys, I will say that the ending of this movie is going to make a lot of people mad. Uh, I didn't really know how to feel about it at first. It's kind of anticlimactic. It just kind of, just something happens, and boom, it, it's just over. And honestly, that's probably my biggest flaw with the movie, aside from the script weirdness and just the ridiculousness of it, is that the ending is going to be a little divisive. I've come to enjoy it but a lot of people might have some problems with it. Also, it is long. All Zack Snyder movies is long, but this movie in particular, you can really feel that runtime. And it's really not paced that bad. It's just that this story didn't need to be this long. This could have been like an, an hour and a half long film, but it stretched out to like two hours and 37 minutes. So it is a lengthy one. But guys, I'll be honest with you. I had a freaking blast when I watched this movie. I think you all will too. It is exactly what it promises to be. So I'm going to give Army of the Dead a 7 out of 10. 
Guys, thank you as always for watching. Be on the lookout for more reviews very soon and more podcast episodes. I will see you all next time. Bye.